What's going on, Stallions? Welcome to the Gamer Heaven. I'm your host, AK40 Kevin. As you guys probably remember, I used to have lights underneath my desks over here, but they honestly weren't cutting it and they just stopped working. So I took this opportunity to upgrade. That's kind of what I do. When things break, I upgrade. I decided to go with Elgato's lights. These are $60, but before you click off and think, oh my God, this guy's lost his marbles. This guy's off his rockers. I was in the same camp as a lot of you guys where I thought it's just lights. Literally, you could get a cheap Chinese knockoff pair off Amazon for like $10 and it's gonna do the same thing. Not quite. Alrighty guys, over here at the Stormtrooper desktop, if you are new to the channel, welcome. This is where we do our unboxings, custom controller builds, PC builds, and a whole lot of other fun stuff. So, Elgato does have a line of lighting specifically for streamers and YouTubers that has full integration with the stream deck. I'll give you a quick demo here. So I have the Elgato ring light illuminating me over here. I can dim it or brighten it, or I can turn it completely off. And then I also have my, and then I also have the Elgato key light air back here, which I use for streaming bam and bam and these do coordinate with the stream deck so i'll be able to turn on and off my ambient desk lights and change colors stuff like that change brightness and that's really awesome and whatnot that was definitely a selling factor however even if these did not have that feature i probably would still purchase these maybe not for that 60 dollars price point which i do think is a little bit expensive for lights however these do some really interesting things that cheap chinese lights for example these do not. So first of all, these claim to be RGB, which is a spectrum of 16.9 million colors. Basically, you can pinpoint exactly what color you want. If you want a nice teal or a salmon color or something like that. But really, you're pretty much only gonna get seven core colors out of them. It's really hard to get that exact theme color that you want. But again, not a huge deal breaker for me. I just generally go with teal and purple. It's kind of my theme colors. But you can't dim these lights very effectively. When you get down to about the 15 or 10% threshold, they literally will start pulsing or flickering. Uh, and this is to your naked eye. But the main issue here is all of these little lights here, no matter what brightness they are, they will flicker when you're recording through something like a webcam while you're streaming or you're shooting, uh, or you're shooting a YouTube video with a photography camera, a GoPro, a cell phone, whatever it is you're working with. Even though your lights look static or solid in real life, they will be flickering or pulsating through the camera lens, which is unfortunate. It's very disorienting and people don't want to look at that on a stream or on a YouTube video. So it's very jarring for them. Next, these don't get very bright. Even at 100% brightness, they don't get that bright, especially if you're trying to pinpoint a specific color. Sometimes that color will start to get washed out and not true to the color you selected once you get to a certain brightness. Next, the adhesive on these sucks. That was, oh my God. Quick rant, the frustration every single day, I would come home from work and either uh, from the heat fluctuation in my room, I'm in Florida, it gets hot and then cold. These would be drooping down or hanging down underneath my desk. And every day I would have to lay under on my back underneath my desk like I'm working on a Chevy or something and basically stick them back on the bottom of my desk because the adhesive is not that great. Granted, you can just either, you can put your own double-sided Gorilla Tape on there or uh, even super glue them if you're trying to do a permanent fixture to your desk. However, would advise against that with cheap lights like these because these do not last very long. They burn out, will start to dim over time and then just stop working. If you accidentally crimp them when you're trying to bend them around your desk or something like that, they will literally short circuit and stop working. I've had it happen before. And you're thinking to yourself, well, who cares? They're like 10 bucks, I can just buy another one. But then you're gonna have this, these ongoing issues over and over. As for me, I would rather just buck up and spend the one initial price and have the customer support and two year warranty that comes with Elgato, which is awesome. That is on all their lighting products, which is really nice. And then of course, the integration with the Stream Deck, that is a nice little cherry on top, especially if you're a streamer, because when I want to start streaming, literally all I need to do is bam, turn on my face light, turn on my ambient desk lights, bam, launch my uh, OBS Streamlabs, uh, run a quick internet speed test, which again, I do that from the street, the Stream Deck as well. It gives me my, my ping up, down, and latency right there on the little monitors on there. So yeah, definitely recommend a, definitely recommend a Stream Deck if you guys are streamers, YouTubers, content creators, or even if you just do multimedia editing like video editing and whatnot. These get to a maximum of 2000 lumens. That is extremely bright. If you just want to run these as white lights, they do have the entire warm to cool Kelvin spectrum as both the key light and the ring light do as well, which is pretty awesome if you're trying to color match with your camera to give you the most natural um, organic 
appearance to your stream. So you've got a little sticky on each side here, pulling the foreskin of the box back. We can get rid of these. So you have your instruction manual here. Very nice color, pictures, good large font. As I am quite elderly, I do appreciate that. I don't have the eyes of an eagle anymore. Very instructive. It goes through the control center, which is an application I already have due to the two lights that I've been talking about this whole time. Uh, this just integrates with all of that and basically walks you through everything you need to know. It gives you a couple of warnings here, not to gnaw on them, not to use the LED strip as a whip or anything like that. Just uses that you're not supposed to do that people have done in the past. That's probably why they put them in the warning section. Awesome, awesome. I don't know what to read, so I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside for now. Close this blade before I lose a finger or a toe. So you've got a little burlap sack here that has your lights in them. Now it doesn't look like it's very long. I will have the exact length of these lights in inches, ladies right here on the screen with a little bit of YouTube post editing magic here. These just feel higher quality than like those little cheap chintzy lights you get. The other ones are just like, they feel like they're gonna explode in your hand. These actually feel really nice. Get a little squeak on there. That's some good quality rubber there, boys. And hopefully you can daisy chain these together if you wanna get like an ex extension or something and run uh, multiple of these plugged into the same control module. That would be awesome as I don't think this is gonna quite cover um, the space that I want it to. We're gonna try to position it properly, but I don't know if this is gonna be quite the length that I need, ladies. This might not satisfy me. Little egg carton here, pretty cheap cardboard, not the greatest packaging. I don't know. You'd think for 60 bucks for some lights, you get some nice laser cut foam or something like that, but whatever. So you have your actual power plug here, your uh, DC adapter. You also have a North American plug, a European plug, and a Asian plug, I believe. So three different plugs, that's awesome. If you travel with these lights or something, you will be able to use them on the go. I'll lock these bad boys into place. There we go, kind of snaps in. What is this little pamphlet? Trash is what it is. You have another double-sided tape adhesive. This is for mounting this control module here. It says light strip on it. it has a reset button in there. Uh, and then also a little port labeled LED strip. And that is where, if I had to venture a guess, it's where you're gonna plug your LED strip into. I'll be right back. I'm gonna position these and I'll give you guys a little demo or demonstration. I was concerned about a little buyer's remorse, but I don't really foresee that being an issue. All right guys, slide my tukis, my little rumpkin in here. So this is the Elgato Stream Deck application, which controls obviously all the panels on the Stream Deck over here, but if you don't have a Stream Deck, not a problem. You just install what's called Control Center, which is this application right here. And that'll allow you to adjust all of your colors in real time, as you can see. Hopefully I'm not blocking. Now I hope the camera picks up all these colors here, but there is a massive spectrum of colors you can hit here, which is quite awesome. If you hit this button here, it goes to the white scale or spectrum. So you get really cool white, uh, which is, I believe, high on the Kelvin scale and then very warm, kind of vanilla rich white. Now granted, I'm not gonna actually utilize six of my buttons on my stream deck on the main menu for the strip lights. What I will do though is create a folder to where I can just press one of these buttons here and it'll have an entire panel where I have presets. So I can turn the brightness up or down by increments of 10 with these buttons here, turn it on and off. And then this uh, default here, these color presets are not just the color, but the brightness. So I have all these at 100%, this is white. So if I just kind of want to accentuate the outside of my desk, I can, or like I mentioned, my two theme colors here, as you can kind of see from my PC and my speakers here and my keyboard, which is also set up with uh, purple and teal. Bam, bam. Mm. I'll probably leave it like that because you know, let, me, let me give you guys, let me give you guys a little hot B-roll real quick.
All right, boys, so do I regret the purchase? Well, I'm gonna say right off the bat, no. $60 is extremely expensive for strip lights. The integration with the Stream Deck is pretty badass. It is going to be the control center of this entire room. The Stream Deck has compatibility with Philips Hue lights, Nano Leafs, and a bunch of other third-party companies to coordinate lights. So you can basically control your entire game room just from a Stream Deck, which is pretty cool. So if somebody subs or follows on Twitch or something, you can hit a button and do a crazy little effect or something like that, or you're getting pulled over in Grand Theft Auto, you can have the red and blue lights flashing or something. Kind of adds to the immersion of your stream, which is pretty cool. And I have to say, these get stupid bright. They don't get hot. I've had them running now for, I've had them running at 100% brightness now for a decent minute, and they don't really get warm to the touch or anything. We'll have to see, you know, during long sessions, you know, leaving them on for hours, how they handle it. The no flicker thing is pretty darn cool. But what Elgato needs to do is come up with extension packs that are about 20 or $30. They're the length of the uh, the roll in the starter kit, because right now your option is to keep buying $60 starter kits if you need to fill your room with these, which sucks. And I can't really recommend that. I would recommend getting the starter kit. And then if they come out with like a $30 expansion roll or something, then you can daisy chain that hopefully, and it doesn't lose any brightness and it uh, supplies enough power through that little module. And if that is the case, this is really solid. But even as it is, if you only need 72 inches to light the back of your desk or something, I think this is super solid. And if you have a stream deck, then this is for sure a good buy for you guys. Alrighty guys, I hate doing it, but a little YouTube plug. If you like the video, why don't you tallywhack Dutch Rudder, take to pound town that like button over there. Basically just leave it all hot and sticky. Then turn your attention to its fine friend, the subscribe button. And then if you still got a little bit of juice left in you, still a little bit of energy and you're still thumping for a pumping, give some attention to that notification bell as well. She gets left out and she's a dime piece as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.